What up, Globe Trotters? It's Jay Blaze. And Vanessa. And we're back with another episode. We're back in town and we're back with a story to tell. Yes, today we're gonna share our road trip recap with you and you better buckle up your seat belts because it's gonna be a wild ride and a tasty one too. We're global. They're local. cheat day since the road trip because one thing we learn on the road trip when you drive through the middle of America there is nothing out there to eat except from fast food after fast food restaurant after fast food restaurant so what we learned is next time we're gonna pack more snacks okay guys we are back with our road trip recap and babe where should we start Oh my god, I think we should start when we were on the drive from Chicago and there were no charger nowhere near and we were running out of charge. Yeah, it was super crazy because you can charge in Chicago, but when you head back to the West Coast, the first charge is about 350 miles. So that pretty much uses all the freaking charge. Exactly, and I was Googling real quick, what can you do, how you can save some charge with your Tesla and we're gonna share those tips with you. It is pulling the screen down. Yes, make sure the brightness of the screen is at its lowest because apparently, I didn't know this the whole time I had the Tesla, Me but neither. the screen takes up a lot of battery. So first thing we did was take the brightness of our screen down. And what was the second thing we had to the do? The second one is usually you can put your phone there and it charges automatically. So we removed it and didn't yes. charge our no gadgets. No charging your gadgets on the road trip in the Tesla if you're losing battery because you are wasting unnecessary battery. So you gotta stop. No air condition or heater as well, exactly. you know? Luckily, the weather was perfect conditions. And last but not least, you gotta stay under 65 mile an hour even if the speed limit is above. So there were definitely a lot of people going around and speeding past us because we were trying to save battery from Chicago to Iowa, but thank God and, we made it. And no seat heating for the passenger princess. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. And then, guess what happened? We stopped at the biggest truck stop in the world. Do you remember this? Yes, this was a huge store with all kinds of stuff, local stuff, food, fast food again. <laughs> But yeah, I had a bagel and you had uh, I Wendy's. think I had Wendy's, yes. you know, Wendy's chicken sandwich. No, this is not sponsored, but hey, you know, that's what I got. And it was so crazy because it was the world's biggest truck stop. And the biggest truck stop had so many trucks in every direction. It had campers, yes. it was super festive. They even had a museum for the national highway trucks or whatever, super crazy. And I wanted to take up the drone, but in the Midwest, guys, it is so freaking windy, all right? It's like impossible to get the drone up being in the middle of nowhere. From Iowa, we stopped in Nebraska, guys. And oh, yeah. it was super crazy because we drove from Iowa to Nebraska till 3 a.m. in the morning, 2 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. So we drove from Iowa to Nebraska and in the middle of the night, luckily, Vanessa took over the wheel and she had to stay away from all the roadkill. I've never seen so much roadkill in my life. There must have been 50 roadkill that I saw just going one way and 50 back, just going through one state. But luckily, Vanessa drives a lot slower than I do. <laughs> and in the middle of the night, she was making sure that we weren't hitting any roadkill. And we also killed that rock because we had that chip, in, uh, chip that you guys might've saw in the episode, but luckily, it freaking, we got it fixed in Chicago. Shout out to Tesla for that one. Yes, you and this, this freaked me out because it was so deep and so hard in the windshield and Jay was sitting in the driver's seat and if it would have been a little bit more, it probably would have hit you, right? We oh talked about God. it later. But in this moment, we, we were like annoyed, but we weren't that aware of it, how serious this I'm was. So grateful so to be here with you guys so because 
that whatever hit the window, whether it was a rock or a screw or something off the highway, almost went completely through. So definitely so lucky and the dangerous things that could happen on a simple road trip. The so, mechanic even said yes. that it's a very deep um, it, it, ex Exactly, yeah. exactly. So where did we go next? It was off to, did we drive through Wyoming that night? Mm -hmm. Yes, we, it was off to Wyoming. And in Wyoming, there was absolutely nothing, guys. I couldn't even find Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was absolutely nothing, but nothing but road. So we were just so anxious to get home. We wanted to stop at some more national parks and do some hiking, but it was so windy and the rain was so unexpected yeah. coming through. We decided to power through and we got back to LA in just two days. Can you believe that? Yeah, how many hours were we driving? I think we were probably driving for about 24 yes. hours almost. We stopped a couple of times. We stayed at a hotel in Nebraska, one in Salt Lake City, and then we were able to get back. But the worst situation happened in Salt Lake City. Vanessa was asleep and all of a sudden, the car froze. The screen yes. froze while I was driving and Vanessa was sleeping and I had to pull over right away. The windshield wiper stopped working. The screen wouldn't turn on. The mirrors came in so I couldn't see what direction I was going. Imagine that, driving in the middle of the freeway at 65 miles an hour and all of a sudden everything on the car gets stuck. That's the worst nightmare. Oh my God, it was pretty was scary. Sleeping. Yeah, it was pretty scary at I first. I out. I pulled over. Luckily, the car reset itself. We yeah. again YouTube the video. I remember I woke up and I was like, hey, why are we stopping again? The car is charged. We went to the restroom yeah. and we had food. It was super <laughs> crazy. So I'm so thankful that we were able to just YouTube a video yes. and reset the car. So yeah. That, that was pretty easy to reset it. Do you remember how you did it? Yeah, but it took a long time. I had okay. to like hold the power button on the screen, the yes. two buttons until it restarted. But it took like 20 minutes. So crazy because we're so happy to be back now because we were in the car for all that time. We wanted to stop so bad, but it was raining, it was snowing, it was hailing, it was windy, just not the right time. So we decided to power back and make it straight back to LA. The driving itself was fun to stop in some places. You just see so much. But the only way we were able to do it was the massage gun, no? Yes, exactly. We were able to use the massage pistol for our Very back from drive. sitting for so darn yeah. long. And obviously we had to stop at different truck stops. So it was just super intense trip and we're super glad to be back I safe. I even did my nails. I even did my nails <laughs> in the car she while did. driving. Um, it's, it's possible. <laughs> we highly suggest a road trip but uh, make sure the weather is a little bit be better. Yeah. You know, it's so unpredictable in the Midwest. I did look it up, but unfortunately you never know. You know what I mean? Yeah, we, we didn't have that much traffic because we actually started the road trip before everyone started traveling. So I think that was a good thing, which we would recommend. But yeah, we weren't so lucky with the weather all the time. We were very lucky with our Airbnbs. We even tried for the first time the Airbnb where like several people, so there's like a person next to you in the room. Basically, we rented a room <laughs> inside someone else's house, mm -hmm. you know. So it was super interesting because we weren't alone. The host were in the other room. It's the first time that either one of us has ever done it, but it worked out great. We were so safe. We did it in Kansas. And then we stayed in hotels the other, on the way yes. back, you know what I mean? Because we were in the middle of nowhere. What was the, your, the worst part about the road trip? Definitely the food options. Yes, the food really, really started to suck because oh. it was nothing but truck stops and fast food all the way back. We even tried to get some food from Walmart and their lettuce in the middle of nowhere was like all brown and shriveled up, kind of gross. Yes, yeah, so and you really get exhausting. So you never underestimate the long drive that you have to do, how much you have to concentrate on the traffic and yeah, at some point after hours and hours, really guys, the best is to stop and take a nap or regroup or switch the, the driver's seats because I remember this got very, very exhausting after 10 hours, 12 hours. Yes, and how many miles? do you think we drove? Over 4,500 miles in total. Yes, it was in so crazy. Days. In 13 yes. days, we drove 4,500 miles and it was about like 2,100 back. 
So, and we drove those pretty much straight in two days. Yes. We left Chicago on a Tuesday afternoon and we got back to Los Angeles on a Thursday at midnight, uh, on to Friday, crazy enough. Mm -hmm. But it was well worth it. Thanks to you guys loving our videos and watching everything. Our page is currently going viral yet again. So the more you guys interact with us, the more we take these crazy trips, even when the weather sucks. <laughs> yes, and thank you for all your messages. When you saw we were in Chicago, for example, you hit us up and uh, recommended us which food we should eat. So nice to, to see where you come from and where you live and to explore America better. Make sure if you guys want to see more content like this, more road trips, more traveling, more food adventures, more adventures of Mr. and Mrs. Global to like, subscribe and comment. And guess what? Turn those post notifications on. Yeah, because we cannot wait. So we're poolside, we barbecued because we're excited that the summer is finally here. We need some sun. <laughs> but until next time, Mr. and Mrs. Global, we're we out. out. Hey, perfect, I'm gonna jump in. No, just joke. Not today, maybe next time. Plane tickets to your favorite city. I got plans for your ring, for your finger, and it's sitting pretty. I got bands for your story, for your friends. That's the smile from your face. Got you moving in my place, yep. Plane